We are poor men, Mr. Fisher. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford. It's the result of laziness, poor discipline. But all that can be corrected. New habits form. Don't you think, Enrique? I'm the one that screwed up, not her. <laughs> Sir, if... What is it, Moss? Nothing. I thought so. We have no margin for error. None of you should ever forget that. I followed your orders and saved over 2,000 people, Williams. Even though Dufresne took it out on me and Enrica. Then he sent you to Russia. He needed a tanker. Didn't say why. A smuggling ship was trapped in the ice in the Sea of Agosk. They dropped me in to clear the area and secure the tanker for them. I never want to see another ship again. All right, ladies and gents, your host Sinistrain 01 is back with more Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Double Agent for the regular Xbox. Uh, we're going to move right along. This is actually quite a difficult level to do, but it is still fun nonetheless. But we have to take out every single one of these guys. It can be a little difficult. Uh, fortunately, we don't actually have to kill them. We only have to knock them out. So wait a little patient here as this guy will be turning around and then he's going to come back in this direction. Since we do have to take all the soldiers out, there's going to be quite a few soldiers that we will be dealing with. Probably the most on any level that I've ever dealt with before in this game. Um, it is quite fun to do. It is very tricky to get every single soldier, obviously, without getting caught and whatnot. But hopefully you're going to be able to do it and we'll have lots of fun. Getting ready for Blacklist, it's going to be great. Uh, I did turn up the volume for the actual game, because I don't know why, but the volume for the game is a little low. Uh, you can save if you want to there, but there's um, it's not too difficult yet, so I would recommend just waiting. But of course you can save anytime you want, it doesn't affect your score or anything like that. So, And for what... I'm not mistaken, it doesn't affect, um, you know, games that actually make you, you know, save and kind of hinder you and whatnot. Uh, I like to be able to save, but I don't want to have to save all the time. I want the game to give me a challenge. Here's how this works. You talk to me, or I hurt you. You won't get anything out of me. If you- Ow! Ow! Cut it out! I'll talk! Tell me about your setup, tough guy. There's a cave. If you store a lot of stuff in it, the roof is pretty thin in places. If you have some rope, you might be able to break the ice and climb down. Then it's a good thing I brought some rope. This is a really cool level because there's a lot of different routes that you can take to complete the objectives that you need to do. And we're going to go ahead and start up here. Again, we still have to go around and kill. Not kill, but take out every single enemy. And I believe on my trial run through of this, um, I think I took out a total of like 35 people. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a few for one level of a game. But it's still pretty cool. Just make sure you're not making as much noise as your uh, ambient noise around you and you should be good. as the objectives are pretty clear in this first part at least on what you have to do 
You can kind of not take out this guy just yet, so you can go in here, grab the objective, and then you'll be able to take him out. Next. As you can see, he just kind of waits there for you. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we're going to move on. As you can see, we've got five of those that we need to take out. Definitely want to make sure you hide the bodies. I know no other guards come through these areas. And the game does tell you when a certain camp is clear. So at least that's a good thing. But we've got wall mines to worry about as well. Now we're going to take out some, but we're going to leave some as well. Make sure when you move up to these, you're very slow. And you actually hit the neutralize button when it is in the green. Uh, if you do not and it's in the red, then you will blow up, <laughs> to say the least. Alright, I am going to go ahead and save here. So now we're pretty much going to get into the thick and thin of things. As you can see, there's some freaking laser beams here. You can easily take them out with your uh, pistol or whatever. You can disable them with your OCP. However, we're going to use the guard to our advantage. He's going to come, he's pretty much, if you remember in Splinter Cell Chaos Theory in the bank level where the guards had uh, a way of being able to get by the lasers without actually being caught. Uh, the same concept pretty much here, as you can see the lasers disable whenever he gets close to them so you don't actually have to worry about anything. Just make sure you hold down the left trigger whenever you grab him so you pick him up and then you can follow the lasers. Don't worry about this turret here, is the turret is not activated right now. And this is where it starts to split up to where you can actually kind of complete things in whatever order you want. Now, um, we're going to wait for this guard. This guard is going to be heading to the right. There's actually going to be another way that we can go that will take us into, I'm thinking, what those caves that that guy told us about earlier. But um, we're actually going to go a different direction as I like to kind of mix things up a little bit and go my own way. It really doesn't matter which way you complete it just as long as you do. Alright, as you can see, the ice trenches is cleared, and we need to grab this other one over here, which will make two out of five. Done. Alright, so as you can see, there is another way that you can go up that way. Um, you can't really see from here, but we will be coming back through there, I think. So we'll be coming back through here again. Now there is two wall mines that are located up here. You definitely want to disable these as we are going to be coming back through here again shortly. So you might as well go ahead and do it. That way when you come back through here you can just run. Just make sure you're moving nice and slow. Controls can be a little difficult. Especially when you start running or you start moving backwards and you don't know how fast you're really going. We've still got two bombs left. I know. But they don't like the way things are going out here. Besides, the ice will still be here tomorrow. Alright, make sure you get over here fast enough. As we want to take this guy out quickly when he comes over in this direction. There's three guards in this area, so it's not too difficult. But we want to do it where it's out of sight, out of mind from the other two guards. So wait here. The other guard is directly on the other side, so you got to do this rather quickly. Don't just knock him out, but actually grab him. If you don't grab him, then the other guy is going to be able to hear what's going on, and you don't want that to happen. So as you can see, that guy patrols back and forth. So when you do this here, kind of be a little patient. Make sure he doesn't see you. And of course, we need to wait until the guard... Actually, we can... Well... We'll be patient. There we go. He's already heading in that direction. Make sure you pick him up and try to hurry and take his body over here as the other guard will be heading this direction. You actually want him to see you because it'll make things go by a little bit smoother. But it's not really like he saw you, it's just kind of like he glanced, you know, it's like perfect distraction. Alright, so he's making his way that way. We should be able to take him out pretty easily. And then that'll be it for the enemies in this area. As you can see, we're already to where the tanker is, but we're just not quite there yet. We still have a lot more to do before we get inside. Alright, so the ice field is clear. Now there's a few objectives that we need to do right now. One of them being over here. 
I always like to make sure all the bodies are hidden just to be on the safe side. And we can disarm the bomb. This is what will be used to get them out of the ice because they're trapped obviously right now. And you can see you can go that way. There's more trickery that you can do. Getting behind certain objects right there and whatnot if you want to be a little bit more sneakier. Go ahead and grab this third one, I believe. And we are making some progress. There. there is only one way that you can get onto the actual tanker, and it's going to be over in this section. But we'll be coming back through here again, so... It will pretty much won't let you on just yet until you defuse everything. I find the trickiest part of this part of the level is the cave, uh, because it's very narrow and there's not many places to hide, and it's on bridges and whatnot, so you got to be super fast. Alright, so we're going to hurry up and grab this guy. This guy will be heading over in this direction. Everything I do is part of a good plan to try to get guards to come in certain directions and whatnot to make it a little bit easier. There we go. Starboard ice field clear. Let's get them all in the same location, I guess. Alright, since we're already here, we can go ahead and grab this objective. Alright, so we completed our first real objective so far. And it's time to continue and move on to complete our next one. I believe there's another safe point up here. Yep. Probably want to hit this one. Alright, two more sections before we finish here. And we're going to move on to the second part, which is the actual tanker. I pretty much just sit in this corner here until this guard comes this way and he'll turn around. Once he does that, you can get by him, and we're going to grab our next objective here. As that same guard will be making his way this way, and you can kind of take a look at what he's doing. Kind of can do two birds with one stone. We can cut the rope that way when we get in there, we're good to go. Shoot. Nice and easy so far. One more guard. <laughs> All right, can't be is done. Alright, so one more of these that we need to do. I don't believe there's anything else left in here. There's, of course, some pistol ammo, other stuff like this you can pick up. Oh yeah, pick up the codes. You definitely want that. <laughs> so two objectives in this area that you have to do. But I don't believe there's anything in this third tent here. Just more ammo. Sniper ammo if you need it, you know. We're not going to be using sniper at all in this level. All right, time to move on to the last section, which is the cave, and then we can actually get on this tanker. Now, to, the cave to me is the hardest part of this section here, so definitely save. 
All right, once you've saved, uh, pretty much what I want to do is we need to get some distractions going on and all that kind of stuff. Uh, very time-based as most everything in this is. First thing you want to do is go ahead and take out, or should I say not even take out really, just turn off. As once one of the guards that's going to come by this section is going to see that it is not on. Uh, this is also a good opportunity to switch to, let's see, sticky shockers as it might make this a little bit easier to do. Of course you will need some of your sticky shockers for later on in the actual tanker part. Just make sure you're far enough back to where his flashlight's not going to hit you. Alright, good to go. Alright, keep moving up. If we've timed everything right, then you should be able to get right up over here. As this is the more trickier part to do. Now I filled around with this to try to see what I could do, and this to me was the fastest route and the easiest route to do. As it gets the soldiers exactly where you need them, there's actually four enemies in this area. There's a lot of exits that you can use. I'm right, gonna wait for this guard to get back. As there's gonna be one guard that we're gonna sticky shock, the one that's all the way over there. But for right now, we want to wait till this guy gets up here. Make sure you grab him before he gets too far. have a little fun, huh? We never get to use our toys. That's it. I'm done. All right, you heard Shouldn't find a way in. Yep, you heard the man. Now, if you go up here, if you remember earlier, um and I'll show you just because I want to show you where all the cool things are. There are two wall mines right there, but right there's where that uh ice is. You can break the ice and you can go right back to where the beginning of the game is. So just another way around, but since there's two wall mines there, I'm not going to worry about it too much. And we're going to head this way. We're going to switch to our pistol because we're going to need to take out some... Don't worry about this here as it is not turned on. But there's going to be some lasers here that you can take out. This is where we took out that one of those guards that uh, we said this was another entrance that you could use. So just wait here until your OCP gets back up. And uh, there's no real reason to save as there's no more enemies in this area. As you can see, that's the one that we took out. And we're back in the second area, I believe, where we were. And like I said, now we can run straight through because we took out the mines. And there's no enemies. So it's just a straight shot. It's time to move on to the second part of the level. which it's going to get a lot tougher. But I think we're up for the challenge, hopefully. I am going to try my darndest to finish this game before Blacklist comes out. Hopefully, um, I'm going to have enough time to do so. I don't know how many missions that this version of Splinter Cell Double Agent has, but I did already complete Double Agent for the 360. But I promise you I will try my best, and I will be uploading more Double Agent videos this weekend.
Possibly even some conviction videos to kind of get myself geared up for conviction as well. Maybe some deniable ops if you guys want to see that, let me know. And we're going to move on to the second part. You're progressing nicely. Head for the captain's cabin on the upper decks. Once you've subdued him, the ship will be ours. All right. Sam, while you're on the ship, I have two assignments for you. How to track her in the communications room. Until we know what Dufresne needs this tanker for, we have to track it. Then I want you to get information about the ship's cargo. Make sure the contents aren't dangerous. Alright, so we've got lots of objectives that we need to do. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and take out this other guard here since the body is really close. Alright. <laughs> Let's make it a little bit easier, I guess. Need to head to the captain's quarters. Alright, good. So we're creating distractions. We're trying to get the enemies out to where we want them. So there's going to be another one coming up this way. Again, everything I do is pretty much for a reason. As I find these are the easier methods to completing what I need to complete. You cannot hide from me. You want my boat, eh? You think you can take her away from me? I do not think so, my friend. Nobody takes my ship away from me. Do you hear? Nobody. She is mine. Don't let these great fun of parties. I have scuttled these ship before I let you have her. There are four bombs hidden on board, and I've armed them to go up in ten minutes. You and I are going to the bottom of the sea together, my clever friend. What do you think about that? Alright, go ahead and save here. Alright, so the method that I'm going to use to get to the bombs is not the fastest, but it is we the easiest. If his threat is genuine, the bombs have to be in the machine room. Find them. Now you saw that kind of little great area that we could go down to, that vent. You can go there and go directly to the bombs. That's how simple and easy you can get there. However, you're going to have to worry about more guards doing that way. So I don't want to worry about guards as much. So I'm going to go this way. As it's going to take us to the same area where the bombs are right here. However, it's going to make it a little bit easier to get by them. You can see here's the first one. Make sure you stay back here enough. Now there's a couple of guards that are down there. I don't know if you can really see them just yet, but they're down there. There's one you can see. And we're going to kind of take them out of the picture. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. Alright, so really, you don't know which ones to do, only I do because of the vibration. But other than that, it's so really simple to do. You think you're so smart? Well, guess what? I reset the time. Now you only have three minutes left. If you've done everything correct, you should not even have to worry about any of the guards. Again, it's based off of what I feel. It's the only way you're going to be able to get by those, so... 
There's really no trick to doing it. As you can see, there's no guards because they're both all right now heading up to where I was. You gotta just find the right ones to get next. Alright, one more to go. Again, this has been the fastest way to where you don't actually have to mess with the guards whatsoever. Gotta find the first one. There it is. There's the next one. And we did it. Alright, you can see both the guards are right there, which means we can get right by them and head to where we need to go now. Like a glove. And definitely safe. Alright, so this next part's a little tricky. We need to um, get to the crates or whatever, but there's a couple of guards that we got to get through in order to do so. I recommend using the Sticky Shocker. Find out where these guards are here. Actually, you know what? We're going to try not even using the Sticky Shocker. We're going to see if we can get by without taking any of them out. That's always a goal of mine in every mission. As you can see, we kind of got a little bit of their attention, which gets them looking in other directions, which means they won't be looking where we're going. As you do want to hurry when you're doing this right here. Make sure you shut that door too. Check the cargo. It's not what we're looking for. It's drugs. Roger that. At least it's not weapons. I'll let people know. Should work, Fisher. Why not? We've been running scared ever since that cargo ship. Makes you have to die on it. Can you blame me? I was so waiting for this guard to get by us, and then we're gonna head right where he is. And we were able to do it without actually touching any of the enemies, which is always a goal. I think I know where I'm going. There it is. <laughs> I was like, I knew it was right there, but I was like, uh... Alright, so now I just gotta find out, remember kind of where I am. Alright, definitely save here. This is a big save. The reason you really want to save there is because I find this right here to be the hardest part to get by because this is the kind of a choke point that you have to get through and if you do not want to be seen by the enemy whatsoever this is really hard you want to get his attention you can use your sticky shocker here let him come down a little bit you make sure you want to he want you want him to get a little past because you don't want the guys up to see him once he gets to a certain point then you can see that no one else saw him so we're good to go here we need to switch back to our pistol. And we gotta do these lights again because we do not want to get caught. You can get up here just a little bit as there are two guards waiting for me right now. And we're gonna try to get by these guards. As you can see there is a pipe here so you can actually get up this pipe. And we can get right past them as they are pretty much directly in the way that we need to go. I remember when I was going through this level and I had no idea where to go. I was going in different directions, the wrong directions, making things more difficult than it needed to be. So you can see, 
<laughs> like he's following me, but he's a complete dumbass, so. <laughs> As these guards will just pretty much stay right there. Alright, we're going to keep going. Hopefully we've been perfect so far, but who knows. Alright, I don't see any guards. Of course, I'm still trying to remember everything that's going on and what's happening here. sure no one's in the way. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save. You can really see how long this level is. So we got a turret up ahead. You don't have to worry about the turret if you just go ahead and take out this light. As you're far enough away, the turret can't see you in the dark. Alright, so right now we're just waiting on this guard. As you can see, I've let some enemies go that we didn't need to worry about. And, of course, I took out a lot of enemies as well. So we're going to go ahead and take out this guard. As it will make things a little bit easier. to a night quiet spot. We have another additional objective that we need to complete inside this room here. Just wait here. Pretty much opening this door, this guard should be heading towards this area here in a second. As there's two guards that we need to take out here. There he goes. Just stay in this doorway and he shouldn't see you. Man, I'm so excited for Blacklist. I hope you guys are as well. It's just going to be so great. Make sure you turn off the light. And believe it or not, you can actually get up to this guy and grab him. As our echelon objective is going to be right here. But just do it slow. Alright. There's a reason he's standing in front of there. That settles it. Now all that's left is take care of the captain. And that's right. Which is very tricky, but really fun. And this, I think, will be our last save. Because I want to thank you guys for everything that you've done for my channel and whatnot. We're going to try to get through this last part here, ghosting. Hopefully uh, no guard's going to see us. We're going to be able to get by everybody. But you pretty much got to stick to do what I do here if you want to be able to achieve this. As it is not easy. Especially since we've got turrets and whatnot that we have to take care of. Alright, let this guy pass. As you can see, there's a turret up here, and he will shoot you to death. So you want to watch out. Make sure you stick in the shadows. Once you get close enough, then he will be able to take you out. Alright, we are almost done with this. We're ghosting so far, we've already passed two enemies. Next thing you want to do, and this is the tricky part. As soon as you do this, switch over to your EMP. Wait till this guy gets by you. And move ever so slowly to get by these mines. If you've done everything correct, then you should be able to get through here, and that is it. Like a glove. Alright, let's see how we did. Woo, was that awesome. 
All right, as you can see, all objectives were completed except for the board, the tanker, and neutralize the whatever. But that was canceled, not on us. Uh, we didn't have any opposing objectives. Everything was primary objectives for the JBA, and we had opportunity objectives to keep us kind of equal with the JBA for Echelon. So let's see how we did. Perfect. Unfortunately, there was a body found somewhere. I think um, probably what happened in the body that was found might have been, and I'm not even really worried about it, they knew I was there anyways, if you think about it, so uh, we were never spotted as the enemy, and no alarms were reached or whatnot, so I think at the very, very beginning of the second part, probably that first guy that I took out when he, the next guy came, he probably saw the body or whatever, so something that's going to be easily avoided, but I'm not too worried about it because I want to get this game over with and ready for Blacklist. I think that was a pretty much a flawless run, and I really uh, loved this level. I definitely enjoyed this level more than the 360 version, that's for sure. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed it again. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we will see you on the next part. Peace out, bitches!